All this hour, we've been reporting on the serious crises that are facing the country. So here are two simple questions now. What did the president do yesterday, or so far today, to address the coronavirus pandemic with the country now in a full-blown crisis? And what did the president do yesterday, or so far today, to address the massive hack of government agencies that's being called the most serious external risk and threat that the U.S. faces? If you are stumped, you're not alone. Let me bring in John Harwood for more on this. John, for a president who's desperately trying to hang on to power, or even one who is not, he's not doing his job. What is he doing? What he's doing, so far as we can tell, Kate, is uh, trying to convince other people, and perhaps himself, that he didn't actually lose the election to Joe Biden, that it was stolen from him, trying to convince some of those people that he convinces to send him money for future political endeavors, uh, perhaps another run for president, but whatever will um, uh, uh, satisfy him in the days after, and years after he leaves the White House. Secondly, uh, focused on using the, the awesome power that he has of the presidential pardon to try to protect his friends, and he's got a lot of friends who've landed uh, in criminal hot water uh, who could benefit from a pardon, and some of those people know things about him that they haven't told prosecutors, and so by pardoning them, uh, he could protect himself. Uh, he's pardoned Michael Flynn, and he's got a whole bunch of requests coming in. He's stated his ability to pardon himself as well. And then finally, uh, possibly using uh, his power uh, to uh, uh, put upon his enemies through the justice system. He has complained privately and publicly that the Justice Department has not been more aggressive toward uh, Hunter Biden, uh, certainly criticized Bill Barr uh, for not publicizing that. Bill Barr, of course, is out of a job. Now, he did tweet this morning that he has nothing to do with the potential prosecution of Hunter Biden. That would seem to signal that he's not inclined to force through a special counsel, as some people have speculated about, because uh, obviously if he does that, if he, if uh, under threat of uh, getting fired, his uh, acting attorney general, Jeffrey Rosen, after Bill Barr leaves, uh, uh, declines to uh, or does appoint a, a special counsel, that would make it appear that the president is involved. So um, uh, he's, he's focused on his friends and his enemies and the election that he lost, but he's pretending he didn't lose. And I also just saw the president is renewing his threat to veto critical military funding. I don't know if I'd consider that actually doing something. What is he saying? Mm -hmm. Well, he's saying uh, that uh, over this social uh, provision that he thinks uh, unduly protects social media companies that he thinks are arrayed against him, that he will veto that bill. House and Senate have both passed with uh, uh, more than enough votes to override his veto, but it's another thing to actually vote to override. And there are consequences in a national security sense. You talked about that Russian hack. There are cyber uh, security protections in that defense bill that would be relevant if he vetoes it. So there's going to be a lot of counter pressure on the president on this threat, but that's the one he issued this morning. All right. Thank you.